Revelation 1007. From the 15th of July 1939. Evidence of what man believes. Worldly understanding is not sufficient for the complete proof of what the heart tells you to believe. The voice of the heart announces the fullest truth to the person who respects it. But where the intellect is consulted, which considers all pros and cons, there one does not pay attention to the voice of the heart, and now a clear solution is not found by sharp, intellectual thinking, but so many contradictions will arise and confuse human thinking, which must be the inevitable consequence, because man lacks faith. Because whoever believes, does not brood. Whoever trusts the divine word which is expressed through the voice of the heart, his heart does not know doubts and does not ask and investigate about things which his intellect can never fathom, but he accepts what is offered to him in form of spiritual gifts, noticeable in the heart, undoubtedly. For who would like to be able to produce a counter evidence on earth by virtue of all intellectual thinking? Even the wisest researchers cannot prove their researches concerning processes outside of earthly life. Nor will they succeed in proving that what man believes about God, his creation and a direct and indirect influence of God on mankind, is wrong. The more seriously the believer deals with such problems, the more he penetrates into them. On the other hand, man's thinking becomes more and more confused the more his mind alone is active to solve such a problem. Consequently, many different views arise. While those who are willing to believe, will always be in the same truth, since only this one truth is conveyed through the voice of the heart. Those who seek God through faith will also find him, but those who seek him along the way of the intellect, are still so far away from him, because they are pure. Worldly people who do not respect their spirit, and the light of truth does not shine for them, but darkness, the night of the spirit, surrounds them, and therefore he who remains in darkness, cannot speak of light. And he also cannot describe the way full of light, if he has not travelled it himself. And therefore also the worldly researcher cannot give enlightenment in an area which he does not know, and he can even less deny something for which full knowledge about it is a prerequisite. And therefore it is not up to the earthly researcher to transfer the results also to the spiritual realm and to destroy therefore with it, the childlike faith. For the Lord reserves the divine wisdom for those who approach him in humble, childlike faith. Amen.